If maths wasn't your best subject at high school, trying to help your child can be nerve-wracking. Here's some advice from experienced teachers. You definitely, as a parent, don't have to be a subject expert to be able to help your child. Um, being interested in what they're learning about, asking what they're learning about, will really help and consolidate the learning that they're doing in class. One of the best things a, a parent can do to help is to um, know the equipment that the child needs at school. And in the early days of high school, especially, help them pack their bags, make sure they've got a calculator, make sure they've got the materials, their, their mathematics workbook, their, you know, their rule of pens and pencils. Help them do that because so what you're doing is you're, you're putting into practice a regular routine. Parents need to be positive about mathematics with their kids and even if they struggled with it at home themselves they need to maintain a positive attitude in front of their kids and not make excuses for their kids. I was bad at maths at school um, so that's probably why you're bad at maths at school. So for a parent to say to a child I was poor at maths it's probably the worst thing that can happen because that gives the child the green light not to try themselves. Best to say I tried. If as a parent you don't feel confidence about maths yourself, the best thing you can do for your child is to try and be as positive about it as possible. The key thing to helping a student in mathematics is to find out where the problem is. Because mathematics is modulised, in, in other words we have units that we learn, they're like little bricks I suppose, if you can find out which brick is a bit loose and then straighten it up, then you can build on that. If it gets to Thursday night and your child is having a meltdown around homework, you need to determine straight away if it's a time management issue or if it's a content issue. So, for instance, if there is a process and you don't understand part of the process, ask about that part of the process. The best way to help your child with their maths homework is to have a look at what um, they've written in their reference book. There will be examples of questions and how the teacher wants the questions set out and how to do the work. So if your child is struggling with some concept they're dealing with in the classroom, have a look at their workbook and have a look what has come before the struggle. Have a look at the sample that the teacher has provided. Have a look at the work solutions that's happened in the classroom because they're guided solutions. It's where the teacher will work through with the student what the solution should look like and then they let the kids go and work off independently and quite often the lesson finishes before the student gets a lot of practice at the independent stage and that's why we need homework. The secret with maths is to be consistent and persistent and if you're a student who uh, struggles with it um, the idea is to ensure that you ask plenty of questions, um, that you review your work on a nightly basis and uh, that you pick up on um, the little things that you're not aware of. Students need to stick at it and understand that there are periods of frustration like in any other subject. Primary school, students don't usually have to study for a maths test, they're just tested on what they know. But in high school it's a bit different. We want them to study for the tests and in order to do that they have to practice the questions. Practice, practice, practice. If you can get your hands on as much practice material as you can and just do it on a regular basis, you'll be okay. It's important to set up good study skills and regular study skills. Don't be embarrassed if, if maths isn't a strong suit of yours. You can always give the, the school or your classroom teacher a call for some extra assistance. With mathematics, because you can clearly identify where your weaknesses are, if you continue to work on them and maintain revising your strengths, then it'll all be good in the end. Maths is a very learnable subject, and if you take it step by step, um, people can experience success in it. And for more help with high school homework, have a look at the fact sheets, glossaries and step-by-step -step videos for parents at schoolatoz.com.au.